praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It is Saturday. It is weekend, guys. We made it because God made it possible. Hallelujah. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Today is Saturday, 29th of July, 2023. And today's topic is Associate of a Greater Patinium. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's thank God for this week. He deserves it. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. Excellence is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name, how glorious is your name, how beautiful is your name, oh Lord, Father, we bless you, King of glory, we thank you, thank you for making our week a successful week. We cannot thank you enough for that. Thank you, Father. We are gathered this morning to start our day with your word. Thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Realities. And today's topic is Associate of a Greater Patinium. Second Peter 1 verse 4 says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by this he might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. That's Second Peter 1 verse 4. The image Apostle Paul conjures in our mind in the verse above stem from a Greek mentology. It had to do with the Greek Patheon or the collective group of gods, headed of Zeus, king of the gods. So the actual expression partakers of the divine nature is the Greek tasophosis, which means associate of the God kind. Thus, Peter was referring to a greater pateon headed by Jesus. Being born again, we have been brought into fellowship or oneness with the God kind. We are in that league Praise the Lord. We are in that league, meaning that we are in a fraternity of divinity, a communion of the God kind. So Bible scholars have had issue with this. Their disagreement isn't because Peter thought we were wrong, but they were so afraid to believe what the word says. Others argue that Peter shouldn't have used words that primarily centered around or relate to Greek history, culture, or the Greek, or the Greek gods. But there are several other texts attributed to Peter in the episode that were written and influenced by Hellenistic culture. For example, Peter, for the first time in 2 Peter 1, 5, 1 verse 2, uses the term epignosis. The term epignosis is Hellenistic and it's used 20 times in the Bible, out of which 16 of them were all from Paul. Four of them are from Peter. Two, Second Peter 1 verse 2, Second Peter 1 verse 3, Second Peter 1 verse 8, and Second Peter 2 verse 20. Epignosis is a higher form of knowledge. It means exact, precise, or absolute knowledge that can only be attributed to God. The Hellenistic, the Hellenists of Grecians in their religious city believe that only the gods knew everything. Only the gods can have absolute knowledge. If this Hellenistic thought woven into scripture are accepted, they should any, why should anyone disparage the Hellenistic the inference or understanding of the pattern that Peter seeks to communicate? You belong in the fraternity of God kind, having been born again to God class with his divine life in your spirit. Now you are indestructible, 
impregnable and always victorious. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Having been translated from the ordinary realm of mankind to the supernatural class of the God kind. Praise the Lord. That is how great we are. Even English cannot even... The sentence, we are, we are biting tongues. <laughs> because they cannot really contain how powerful we are. Oof! Great word. Great word to the associate of a greater pattern. That is me. That is you. Praise the Lord. They cannot. There's no English word for our greatness. There's no English. They will bite. They will bite. It's going to be too long. Praise the Lord. So, people of God, you are a great personality. You serve the greater God. Hallelujah. Yes, you are powerful. You are all powerful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will thank God for His greatness. That is that is that we, that we took from. Hallelujah. Because He is our we in this world. So, Pastor, you're just helping us to understand all this. How great, how powerful you are. Praise the Lord. You belong in the fraternity of God. Praise the Lord. That is the greatest of all. Hallelujah. Having been born again into God's. That is why being born again is very important. And if you are here, you've not given your life to Christ. This is an opportunity for you to do so. After hearing all this, all you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God, I believe he died for me. And God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. And if you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is, you, is read your Bible. Get to know God is, who Jesus is, and who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faith-filled messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship there. Hallelujah. So with that being said, let's take the confessions together. I am associate of the God kind. In a fraternity with divinity, I am born into God's class. It is nature and character in my spirit. I have been translated from the ordinary realm of my kind to the supernatural class of the God kind. Hallelujah. Praise to the Lord. For that study, you can look at Psalm 82 verse 6 to 7, John 1 verse 12, and 4 John 1 verse 3. One year Bible reading plan, Romans 4, verse 1 to 25, and Psalm 48 to 48. Psalm 45 to 48. Two year Bible reading plan, Luke 11, verse 45 to 54, and Judges 4. So at a leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you'll be indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. What a great time we had this morning. So please, if you're my new subscriber, please click on the subscription box. And on your notification bell so that anytime I upload a video like this, you'll be first to notified. And please, you can share this video as well. So, as you do so, may God bless you. So, before we go, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. We thank you for your word we have had this morning. Indeed, we are blessed by your word, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for keeping us alive all through this week. Thank you for your provision this week for us. And thank you for making every crooked way straight this week for us. Indeed, we are blessed to have you as a father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. You have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next week by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.